Hello there, Eliza here, and since this is my third Digimon Cross Power Rangers video, I don't think I need much of an introduction for this concept. I will, however, do one thing for the introduction, which is explain Mystic Force for everyone. Mystic Force was the fourth Power Ranger series of the Disney era. The reason why I chose to do this one? Well, there are nine major crests for the Digidestined, as Destiny Miracles only appeared as Digi Eggs. And there are very few Power Ranger series with more than six Rangers. Mystic Force has eight. And Claire, who does have a transform state even though she is not a Ranger. The other reason I chose to do the crests with Mystic Force is that the crests are supposed to represent the core aspects of a character, and Mystic Force magic supposedly comes from the core of a person. Side note, I'm also going to suggest potential partner Digimon for them, but I'm going to give them like two or three possible idea for partner rookies and no full lines, as this is mostly about the crests not the Digimon. With that said, let's get started with handing out crests to the Mystic Force Power Rangers. First up, we have the first ranger who appeared in the series, Udana. She is the White Ranger, utilizing the elements of ice and snow. A large part of her story is about her reuniting with her missing son and lost husband, which could indicate love, but she is also the mentor of the group, possessing great knowledge and wisdom, which I think is more core to her character over the course of the series, which is why I'm giving her the Crest of Knowledge. However, since insects and electricity are normally connected to the Crest of Knowledge and she is ice, I could see her having either a Lekmon or Penmon or possibly Ten Tentamon as her Digimon partners, especially since she has no Zord to influence that as she just grows bigs and takes care of things herself. Next up is Vita, one of my friend Ryan's favorite rangers. Although they still complain that Vita should have remained a vampire, which, not gonna lie, would have been cool. Vita is not your stereotypical pink ranger, she is not a soft girl. She's the type of girl who if you need a knock on the noggin, she's giving you a knock on the noggin. Which is why Vita was really easy for me. She's all about being there for her friends especially her best friend Chip, which is why she gets the crest of friendship. Now her Zord is a sprite fairy, and she uses wind, which is not associated with any crest, but sprites and fairies are usually associated with the crest of sincerity, while friendship is normally about ice and them good boys, which is why my suggestion would be possibly either Tinker Munch to represent the fairy sprite aspect, I'll ro I'll ro I'll, ro I'll this thing, to rep other aspects as well as the slight vampirism, or Strabimon to rep them good boys. Coming in the third discussion spot is Chip, which my best friend Alan actually likes this ranger a lot from this season, although his favorite ranger overall is Ziggy from RPM. He likes Ziggy's shadow puppets that help save the world. He liked Chip because of the cape. And I have my cape back! Makes sense. He likes silly things in Power Rangers to break up things. It makes sense with him. Chip is a lovable lapdog, which may make you think he should have been friendship, but Chip is the one who wears his emotion on his sleeve the most. He is open and completely sincere about who and what he is, hence the cape, which is why he gets the crest of sincerity. Again, we have a conflict and element, something you will see throughout this entire list. Sincerity, as mentioned earlier, is mostly wrecked by nature in plants. Chip's element is lightning, which is normally used by the crest of knowledge, and his sword is a bird, which is normally wrecked by love, which is why my Digimon suggestions would be either Pulsemon for the electricity, Hawkmon for the burb, or Palmon for the nature as well as his friendship with Vita. Since we talked about two of my friend's favorite rangers for this season, let's talk mine, Xander. Xander always has a plan, constantly tries to avoid fights, and loves to find alternative methods to tackle a problem. He is reliable to a fault, which is why he is 100% the crest of reliability for me. I cannot actually think of any crest that's even better, possibly friendship as well, but we already gave that to Vita. Now Xander's Zord is a minotaur and he uses wood and earth as elements, while the crest of reliability is focused on water and storms. He's also sometimes stubborn as a rock, which is why my suggestions for him would be Gatsumon to represent his stubbornness, the earth element, and the Minotaur in a way, Mushmon to represent the wood, or Gomamon to rep the water element from the Crest of Reliability. The fifth we will be covering is Madison. Madison is the older sister of Vita, and like Xander, is also very prominent with the crest she should have. She likes to talk about things like love a lot, both the love she has for her sister, her ideals of fairy tale love, and her later in the series love for the Red Ranger Nick. She is obviously the crest of love. Now again, there is a lack of ability to link elements of the crest with the elements of the ranger, as Madison is the blue ranger with a mermaid sword and uses water powers, while the crest of love is about burbs and fire, which are almost as the exact opposite as you can get from each other. So I would suggest either Shakomon for the water and mermaid elements or Biomon for the bird fire elements. Since I seem to be doing them in order of how they essentially join the team, 
Let's do Red Ranger Nick next. And some would probably expect courage for him, to which I say, this is the Red Ranger that gives up the most. He does not deserve courage. Plus, it's not even the one that he reps the most. Also, there is someone, actually multiple someones, who rep courage a lot harder than him. So with only hope, light, and kindness left, which did I give him? I gave him light. Because that's what he is. He is literally called the Light. He is the child of the strongest witch and the strongest warrior. He carries the light of the story. Now since he is the Red Ranger and uses the fire element with phoenix swords as a mode that incorporates dragons and the crest of light is usually angels and holy things, I would suggest Hyokomon for the phoenix and warrior rep, Dracomon X antibody for the dragons, or Plotmon for the angel and holy stuff. Next up, I want to do the ranger's ally, who should have become a ranger herself, Claire. Claire is an easy one. She is kind and willing to give everyone a shot, which is why she is 100% in my mind the crest of kindness. It also kind of makes sense that the outlier crest goes to the outlier ranger character. Now Claire does have power connected to the moon and light, and the crest of kindness seems to have a connection to magic and fairies, and with a little bit of bugs because of Wormon. So with that said, I would offer the options of either Fan Bimon to rep the bugs from the crest of kindness, Bakuman for the magic and a little bit of the light moon elements, or Lunamon, which I think is the best option for everything but the bug aspects from Wormmon. Down to the last tune, we have the Gold Ranger Daggeron, and the thing is, I could see either him or the next Leonbo as being either Courage or Hope. However, I think I'm going to give the edge of Courage to Daggeron here, because even though Hope would have been a lot easier and had at least one of these match up, the reason is because Daggeron inspires Courage in others, teaching them to be knights and warriors, and had the courage to face one of his closest friends when they went bad, and live 19 years as a frog. Yeah, and giving him Courage, which being since Daggeron uses light, steel, pure magic, and trains, and courage is fire, dragons, and dinos. <sighs> so the partners I would suggest would be Hagurumon X Antibody to rep the steel, drains, and a little bit of the light, Gaussmon to represent the dinos and dragons, and Candlemon for more metal as well as magic and fire. Which brings us to the last ranger, Lian Bo, who gets hope, and it makes sense. What kind of person throws themselves into a situation believing others will be able to carry on without them? someone with a lot of hope. The actions Lian Bo took prior to the series showed himself to be the most hopeful. Not only that, but inside Korag, he never lost hope that he would be freed, and is confident that he'll be reunited with his family. That is some next level hope. Now as for his powers, he also has fire, but his zords seem to be centaurs and unicorns rather than phoenixes, so there's that. And of course, hope is again holy and angels, and as Korag, he had knightly and wolf themes. That's a lot. So my suggestions would be either Patamon for the Angel Holy options, Gaumon for the Wolf options, and Kudamon as the best option. I think that's a good listing, but to recap things for everyone, that's White Ranger Udana with the Crest of Knowledge, Pink Ranger Vito with the Crest of Friendship, Yellow Ranger Chip with the Crest of Sincerity, Green Ranger Xander with the Crest of Reliability, Blue Ranger Madison with the Crest of Love, Red Ranger Nick with the Crest of Light, Ranger Ally Claire with the Crest of Kindness, Gold Ranger Dagron with the Crest of Courage, and Wolf Warrior Leonbo with the Crest of Hope. And I think that's an interesting spread. So with all that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. The Yu-Gi-Oh! script is finished, and I will have it recorded soon. I've just been having problems finding a few assets for it. Before I go, I do have a Patreon where you get access to my scripts in advance, get to vote for both games played on my stream and on upcoming videos, get access to my Discord starting in August, get my videos two days in advance before they go live on YouTube, and get your name in the credits, and can request shows for me to cover on Does It Hold Up? You can also catch me streaming every day on Twitch at ElizaGWR. And I have a Twitter account you can follow me at. I hope to see all of you next time when I will finally have the Yu-Gi-Oh! video out. Thank you all, and I hope you stay awesome people.